thrilled that you're here to join us for this special event, which not only celebrates the reopening of the home of Space Shuttle Enterprise, but it also symbolizes New York's resilience in the recovery after Hurricane Sandy. On behalf of my co-chair, Ken Fisher, and our entire board of trustees, thank you all for joining us today, distinguished guests, friends, families, and most importantly, supporters of the Intrepid. Despite the challenges around the globe, and in spite of social unrest and a blatant cry for help by youth, we continue to see people who dare to dream and who do so regardless of the obstacles and the consequences. Having the Space Shuttle Enterprise in New York City aboard the Intrepid means a lot to students like me. It gives us the opportunity to learn close up about a vessel that we had only seen on the news and read articles about. The opportunity to watch something so significant become an artifact in the city we grew up in. And of course, the opportunity to help us raise and ask more question about questions about space exploration. And now that we are all going on to higher education, we could finally answer those questions ourselves. I'm here today as a representative of the State Historic Preservation Office to present the Intrepid Museum with a certificate recognizing the listing of the Enterprise on the National Register of Historic Places this past March. Uh, Enterprise is in good hands and is ready to renew its mission of inspiring future space explorers. The reinstallation and the recovery of this uh, a space shuttle enterprise is part and parcel of the recovery of New York City. There is no New York City without its culturals. There is no New York City without the Intrepid. Uh, I'd say this is a very emotional day in a lot of ways, but after being closed for nine months, this is almost nine months after Hurricane Sandy hit, and working so hard to rebuild, we've been able to open our doors, not only for New York, not only for the nation, but for our team here, and particularly for the 25 people that were here that night that helped to protect the shuttle and helped to protect the institution.